Hello, this is Sep11 here, and today I'm going to show you what it, how a F17 T8 will re react on a F20 T12, I mean a 14, 15, 20 watt trigger start magnetic ballast. We'll turn off these lights, and I'll also show you the black light. Now watch. See? You have to touch it. You have to touch the ball for it to start. We'll do that a couple more times. You have to touch it when you first turn it on. The ends, one of the ends, glow. And it runs the ball pretty good. It's pretty bright. And for the moment of truth, I will try a black light bulb. Hopefully you can see this. But this black light had a really cool swirl effect on it, just like when you buy a new bulb. Well, it ain't doing it. But it, you can, it's kind of mercury starved a little bit. It runs fairly well in this fixture. Hopefully, you can see the end glow in there. Oh, it started up. You can see the end glow on the fixture. Not really. But, yeah. And I'll show you how an F40 and F20 T12 starts. And I'll put my warm white bulb in because I forgot to show you it. When this when this light is really cold, you have it the end glows. So that's the F4 F20 T12 warm white. Take a look at the etch. General Electric, and I'll show you the edges of the T8 lamps, Sylvania Optron 17 watt, 35 Kelvin, I believe soft white, and this one is a Lights of America, find the etch. Lights of America at 17T8 BLB. So, and I'll do a mass startup with some rapid start fluorescent lights later on. Otherwise, hope you enjoyed. Um, this is Sepulchre signing out. Bye.